Ah, uh, ma, please. Uh, One by. No, 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 ma. I'm actually looking for number three, Agopusi. Uh, this is number three. This is number three. Mm. Okay, thank you, ma. I'm looking for the organizer that stays at um, off the street, the third junction. Like when you get out to the express. Mm -hmm. Is there any problem? No, no, not at all, ma. No problem. Okay. You know, they for house, ma. He will soon be back. Mm -hmm. If there is anything, you give me the message. When he comes back, I will give it to him and his wife. Who? Oh, you're his wife? Mm. Ah, nice to meet you, ma. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm, um, I am not his wife. Nand. Yes, ma. Nand. Um, his nephew, your husband's nephew. Nand. Yes, his nephew. Your husband's nephew. My husband's nephew. I can't remember any nephew of my husband by name and no. And now this is his picture. I don't think I know this place. Ah, Ma, sorry, let me show you another one. This is him. You don't know me. No. I know him at all. Thank God he's sick. Ah, pardon, so. <laughs> he's the one I'm looking for. Uh, sir, good afternoon, sir. Yes, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. And sir, it's the lady that came to your workshop yesterday. Ah. Many people came to my workshop yesterday. The one that said you looked familiar, you look like somebody I know. Ah. I don't even understand what you are talking about. My husband. She said... Uh, you are the uncle to one Mr. Nand, her yes. husband. Yes, sir. Namde. No, I don't know anybody called you Namde. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Um, sir, Din mm -hmm. Namde. Din Namde, you came to my father's house with. You said you were his uncle. That's what you told my father. You, you came as his uncle, sir. I don't understand what you are talking about. Woman, I'm, I don't know what you are talking about. Sir, sir I'm sure it's you. You woman, I, I don't understand what you are talking about. What type of trouble is this? It's written all over your face. It's like you know that person. You, my wife, you are now accusing me. Eh? Woman, you better leave this place before you scatter my home. No, no, sir. No. You... She's not going anywhere. Come, no, you no, come to no, my house. No, 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 man, no, man. That's eh? not got into that. Please, don't worry. I'll go. I'll go. Thank you very much for everything. Eh? Okay, if you say so. You better leave here. Huh? Instead of looking for a, a responsible man to marry, you, you, you run after rich people. Now you are looking for somebody to, to, to scatter his family. I don't want this type of process. You better go. Better go, you are still going to be looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's getting deeper, deeper and deeper. It's getting crazy right now. It's getting scary right now. The closer you look, the deeper it seems. Yeah. Creepy and freaking me out. Can you feel it? Oh wow. The stars that seem to fall in up the sky. Can you see? The ghosts start running wild at the depth of dark night. Can you hear them? Can you see them? Am I losing my mind? Sure. No. Yes, really. Who is the man you brought to my father? Whom you claimed is your uncle? I do not understand where this is coming from. What are you talking about? Namdi, who is the imposter you brought to my father in the name of your uncle? Excuse me. Excuse me. Now I feel disrespected. Come on. Why would I do that? Come on. 
I mean, the, the man I went there with uh, is my uncle, Uncle Ipo. Nice, nice man, great guy. My, my father's younger brother. What are you talking about? Namdi, who really are you? I don't understand you. What are you talking about? Why are you questioning me like this? You can pretend and lie all you want, but you must surely pay for disrespecting and insulting my family. Have you ever been lost within yourself? Trying to find a way Have you ever been dead but still alive? Trying to make a way Yeah It's not a pleasant sight Hello. Not a pleasant life but all my life yes. I've lived as a way All my life I've been as a way I'm living, I'm living, living in you So don't let me die I'm breathing, I'm breathing, breathing to you. So don't take that breath away. I'm sorry. I'm really very sorry. I know I disrespected you and your family. For that, I'm deeply sorry. But the truth is, any man in my shoes will do the same. You think there is any reason good enough to justify what you did to my family and I? And until you came with imposters to our house to perform my marital rights, my marital rights. What is wrong with you? What are you hiding? Don't you have people? Did you did you fall from the sky? Are you a ghost? Get on evil! Orphanage, motherless baby son. When I was nine years old, I ran away from there into the streets of Onicha for no good reason. If there was at that time, honestly, I can't remember.
My sales partner lured me into a group of street boys. From there, my life took a different direction. Uh, hello? A uh, guy? Yeah. Guy, I know you. I don't bring you know, business now. Yeah, yeah. No wahala, no wahala. I get plenty boys. I get plenty boys. I get igwe. Everything they complete. Baba, Baba, talk to me later. Come on, what's up? Yeah, we will. My man, when you know I see the beam and I dive in the street, just see our street on the side. They play me as can say the beam for streets. I say, man, 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 come on, man, man, see the beam. Just say this. Oh, the guy gave mine. I said, see me so he shows. He said, couldn't name my mind. He said, he's up like this. Wow, wow. How is this the thing that we see here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Just call it up. Now go. You just call it up. That's the way you're going to do. Come on. 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 Survival, 
Each day brought us closer to our doom. And finally it came. Judgment Day. It took him quite a while before he could convince them to release me to him. They finally did. friend was burnt alive? He's dead now. Gone. Wasted the way your life would have been wasted. <sighs> Thank you for that for saving my life. I didn't save your life, but God did. All thanks should go to him. 
For now, the church will take good care of you. And I'll see what to do to get you back to school. From this moment, you are my son. Hence, you will keep to a promise that you will not do anything on God. And if I see or hear that you did anything ungodly, I'll send you back to the police station. From there, you'll be sent to the prison. Father, I promise not to steal again. And I promise not to do anything ungodly again. I promise, Father. Credit alert of 20 million naira from him. In a text message, he said that I should invest the money wisely when I graduate, that I may never see him again. Oh God, I was dumbfounded. I was, I was, I was heartbroken. I called his number, it was switched off. Next day, I went to Asaba. I got to his place and I was told that he was rushed to a hospital. I went there and they told me he was dead. They said he died 20 minutes before. to lose you. That's why before I met you I had two failed relationships and both women left me for the same reason because they got to know the truth. They said they couldn't be with a man that has no identity. That's why I didn't want to tell you because I love you. I want you to be my wife. I'm sorry. Please. Please don't. Yeah. You know, of God, don't leave me. I know I should have told you. I'm sorry. Please. You find it in your heart to forgive me. And stay with me, please. If you leave me, I will not, I will not survive it, believe me. If you leave me, I may die.
Morga is a good person. You are a good person. If Morga is a good person, marry you won't be a good person. That means you are a good person. Family, good home. Please don't go, don't go, don't go. You see, Morga, not a good person. You a good person. If Morga is a good person, marry you won't be a good person. That means you are a good person. Family, good home. Thank you. Please stay with me. Don't go. Please. Please don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Please. Hi. Please don't go. Please. Please. I 
Didn't mean to cause your pain Never meant to let you down Baby, you're the only one That brings me fulfillment I cannot leave you, baby Tell me Oh, oh If I leave you, baby My world comes to end Baby, you're the only one The only one I swear you're the only one That can feel that empty space Baby, don't you leave me No gonna want you more Baby, if you ever leave me I'll be a walking dead Baby, if you ever leave me I'll be a walking dead Remember all the times we shared The memories we made The good times that we had Nothing can compare Baby, you're the only one Who's got my secret code Please hurry up Cause I am catching cold Anything you want, I'll go do one for you Anyhow you want, just let me know Baby, you're the love of my life Honey, you're the love of my life I didn't mean to lie to you Never meant to break your heart Remember these words I say Let it heal your broken heart Baby, you're the love of my life Honey, you're the love of my life
I'm not watching. I saw your brother in the city and he, he doesn't know me. My brother. What now? one give okay now? In answer to him name. Auntie Teresa. Uh -huh. I don't understand what you're talking about. Can't tell me what I am name. That's enough root chain and one nigga woke in the city with his wife. And he me. And he been walked out on me. In that same name, what are you name? Auntie Teresa, the you chain now you're talking about is lying beneath that grave. Chenna is dead. Whoever you saw in the city is not him. in my compound you insolent son of nobody you had the temerity to step your filthy feet inside my compound after committing such a despicable act against my household so that is why i'm here i know i disrespected you i'm sorry please forgive me i will never forgive you never now leave my presence get out please understand. i'm sorry i need you to forgive me please you think i'm joking okay wait I'll be right back. You're still standing there! You don't want to leave my compound! I'm not going anywhere. It's either you forgive me or you shoot me. I can't live without your daughter! It's better you don't shoot me, let me go and rest. Shoot me! Please don't do this, daddy, please. Daddy, daddy, for my sake, please don't do this. Let him leave my compound now. I'll blow that little skull of his into particles. Daddy, please, you'll be committing murder. You don't want to do this, daddy, please don't. Please. Daddy, please. Please, daddy, I beg you in God's name, please. Daddy.
this file contains documents to all my property, my buildings, cars, companies, everything. God gave them to me, so I'm giving them back to God. I won't be needing them anymore. But why, Brother Nandi? By tomorrow morning, I'll be gone. So I want the church to sell everything and give the proceeds to charity. I'm lost here, Brother Nandi. What is going on? What's going on? I have no father. No mother. No brother. No sister. So I'm counting on you to give me a befitting burial. Can you please come down? And explain things to me, please. I have to go now, Father. God said I should tell you it is not yet over. He said I should tell you he's not done with you yet. Have a nice day, Brother Nandi.
So I like good sir. I know I'll a suit mango one fifty. Uh, I'm looking for somebody, one guy that sells water. Okay, it could be on your cow. In the shot, where we have you? Ah, on your cow, on your cow. That's the only shot man in our miss. You know, we don't come work today. You didn't come today? Uh -huh. Okay, do you have his number? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't get the number. Okay, does anybody here have his number? Mm, I cannot go get that. I make, make a. I'll uh, make a runner for you. Bye <laughs> bye! Hey! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's any any problem? No, no, no problem. I, I just need to discuss something very important. Yeah. Okay. Well, the number, I've been trying the number since morning. The number, no, they go. Yeah. But uh, I, I will give them to you. The switch stop. Today I tell you, I tell you the number of miracles this morning. But if what you define out for the urgents, uh, if you go in house, go go check him. Okay, do you know his house? Uh, uh, number twenty seven, uh, Solusa Street. That's by Akinkule out. You know Akinkule out. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's my nagging in the lead. Yeah, nagging in the lead. Okay, you know go buy banana. Uh, mango. I'm so glad you're Thank you. Hey, Baba! <laughs> Good day. Good day, sir. Oh, how are you? I'm very fine. Oh, okay, please. I need your help. I'm looking for one on your car. He sells table water on Transcorp Road. That one? Now my neighbor. You go market. But that road where you just corner. Now, now where you go see him. I'm just coming from there. I said they didn't come to the market today. I they very, very sure. I see him this morning. Where they come out? Go market. Make I give you a number. I called his number. I switched off. Ah, okay. Which one will you call? Now the new number where you call. I've been at the old one where you call. But this is what is he? Nineteen. Yes, it looks like empty. Hey, that one. Now your old number be that. The new number when they use now. Now it's the way in be. Can you give me the new number? Ah, I go give you. Oh. Thank you. Switch off. You did sure. Try him again. Switched off. Hmm. Does it have two phones or one? Ah, two phones. Now one phone when you get. I don't put SIM card where they inside the phone. Hmm. Alright, thank you. Ah, okay. Now go you there go. No be buy me some more money for chingo. Ah. As you fall like this, carry this fine car like this. No people find me small money. Hey! Eh. Yee-hee! What plan there, oh? I'll look for Onyeka. Onyeka. You know people find me small money? Eh? You know who do? Fine car.
me? I'm fine. Uh, I'm, I'm actually heading to your house to see your brother. I hope he's around. Hope there's no problem. That reminds me. He said he saw your dead brother living in the city. Very rich. Did he tell you? Auntie Teresa even saw him too. She said he's even married. Married, pa! One that shall never end. My sister, that's why I'm coming to see your brother. For him to take me to the city. I want to see Uchenna with my two eyes. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. He has gone back. I'm actually one of your customers. Yes, I have patronized you before, but that's not why I'm calling. I, I need us to discuss something very important. I need to see you. Well, let me go to let me go straight to the point. The best way to get this phone don't die. Jesus Christ. Dead? Oh. My brother, he will be one of the victims for that terrible accident that happened this morning for Ali Krija Road. You want to say anything here about him? No, I, I, I didn't hear about it. So you want me to say for news? You know here I'm all this new artist when radio station they carry him, TV station they they, they announce him. You know here I'm. You just say they listen to news at all. No, I, I didn't check the news today. My brother, you miss a lot too. You miss, you miss plenty. Today is a very very bad day. Now one tanker we carry fuel. Go jam trailer we carry cement. I saw the tanker come explode. Come keep plenty of people. Come keep thousands of people. Oh my god. Yeah, so. I brought that since morning. Now, nah, nah, dead body will take a carry since morning. No. As I did now, nah, I don't tire. The worst is that you don't even recognize their faces. Some don't burn to ashes. Some fire disfigure their face. Ah, my brother. Today, today is bad. I beg, I don't want to remember what happened in the morning. Eh? I beg, more will talk tomorrow. More will talk tomorrow, yeah? I don't even know how I want to sleep this night. I beg, yeah? More will talk tomorrow. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm actually one of your customers. Yes, I have patronized you before, but that's not why I'm calling. I, I need us to discuss something very important. I need to see you. 
Well, let me go. To, let me go straight to the point. The best way to get this phone don't die. Jesus Christ! Dead? Oh! My brother, he be one of the victims for that terrible accident that happened this morning for Ali Krija Road. You want to say anything about him? No, I, I, I didn't hear about him. So you want to say for news? You know here I'm all this new artist where radio station they carry him, TV station they they, they announce him. You know here I'm. You just say they listen to news at all? No, I, I didn't check the news today. My brother, you miss a lot too. You miss plenty. Today is a very, very bad day. Now, one tanker away carry fuel. Go jam trail away carry cement. And so the tanker can explode. Can keep plenty people. Can keep thousands of people. Oh my God. Yeah, so. I brought that since morning. Now, nah, nah, dead body will dare carry since morning. No. As I did now, nah, I don't tire. The worst is that you don't even recognize their faces. Some don't burn to ashes. Some fire disfigure their face. Ah, my brother. Today, today, bad. I beg. I don't want to remember what's happening in the morning. Eh? I beg. More we'll talk tomorrow. More we'll talk tomorrow. Yeah. I don't even know how I want to sleep this night. I beg. Yeah. More we'll talk tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry. Sorry. condition is very, very serious now. We have to rush out to the hospital. Eh? Hospital? Yes. Hey! Hey, Udo. How do I get money to pay for the hospital bills? You know I cannot afford it. Well, Amar, I don't know, but the, the, the last option we have now is to take your mother to the hospital. Except if you want to lose her. God forbid I cannot lose my mother. Nothing will happen to my mother. Well, Amara, I'm not saying you're going to lose your mother. But at this point, we have to do something very fast. I know I cannot afford to go to the hospital. What else do you suggest I do? Honestly, Amara, I don't know what else to suggest. But the hospital right now is the only place you can take your mother to for her to regain her health. I have to get going. I have to go and attend to Mama Tochiku's son. Please. You don't. When I'm ready to eat, so please just let me be. Adako, please just leave. Why are you for something to do?
Uh, I really don't know what to do. The only person that could have helped me is dead. Where do I stop? So, where exactly did he say this accident happened? Because all through yesterday I was glued to the news and I didn't see anything about a trailer or a tanker accident. He said, he said it happened somewhere around Ali, 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 Ali Krija Road. Ali Krija. <laughs> what the hell is that? I've never heard of such. Never heard of it too, um, until he talked about it. So I'm thinking it's a road around their neighborhood. My question is, how the hell does someone get burned entirely? And then his phone is not affected. Where does that happen? I think it's possible. It's possible his phone fell off his pocket or his hand um, just before... What am I saying? It's not possible. I mean, if your phone falls off your pocket before a tanker explosion, the phone will get burnt, definitely. So you see all this uh, aren't nonsense. Trust me. I advise you go back to the guy's house to find out exactly what happened. I suspect his phone was stolen by that idiot you spoke to yesterday. There was no fire accidents anywhere in this country yesterday. <laughs> it's all stories. Another medicine which will help flush out the impurities from her blood. Huh? Okay, After taking that one, she will be completely healed. Hmm? Take it. Sorry, sorry. Got a quarrel, Hannah. 
Bro, that you there? Uh, no, I did, I did. No, I don't want to. Did he come today? Ah, he's there here, he's there here with me now. He's got a call him. Come back. Come on, where for you come here today now? You don't show. Which might be that? You don't show that man, where for you now? What 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 did the man want? Even the Thomas said if you tell me yesterday, say hey, the man come find me for yard. What you have? You commit crime. Answer me now, you commit crime. Shit, on this side, on this side. See, make I tell you something. But see we get clear conscience. No the fear position at all. Come, thank you. <laughs> thank you, 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 you don't answer the question. Let's go. Jesus! I was on my way to the market yesterday morning when I received a call from a friend that there was a conference going on at the stadium and that I should come and sell my goods. So I directed. But I lost my phone on the way. The person you spoke with last night is definitely the person who stole my phone from me. Bro, oh, thank God the rubbish story you told me is fake. Thank God you're okay. So, Tell me about this, Uchin. I still don't believe you're not him. I'm not. My name is Namdi, not Uchin. Please don't get offended. Where are you from? Actually, it's... It's complicated. That's why I need you to tell me everything you know about this Uchin and his people. Listen, I need you to help me. You please forgive Namdi. Please, Daddy. I uh, just give him a second chance, please. A second chance yes, to produce his people from the thin air. 
or to get a second batch of imposters to come and pay your bride price. He made a mistake. And I am sure he is very sorry about it. Please. That boy will never set his filthy feet in my house anymore. Any day I see him here, I will kill him. The earlier you find another man, the better for you. As for that young man, he's a close chapter. If I, have you forgotten what your native doctor said? He said Namdi is my God-ordained husband. Forget, Who said that to forget me? Forget what Obunabali said. He didn't see well.
five years ago, I gave birth to a set of twins, two boys. But one died that same night. Mm. My late son, Uchenna, was the one that survived. Oh, Mama. The very one that died that night, did he exhibit any form of illness or abnormalities? I don't really know what happened. He was not sick. Neither did he exhibit any sign of ill health. From the time I gave birth to him till I slept that night, only to wake up the next morning and meet him dead. I was dumbfounded. The doctor was very shocked. He said that the baby no reason to die because he was very, very healthy. Hmm. So, uh, Mama, on the said night of the event, were you the only one in the world? Angulika, my younger sister, was living with us that time in Onisha. She was the one, the only one that was with me in the world. Because my husband had gone to get the things I would be needing in the hospital ready. And my mother was to come from the village the next day. I see. So your sister, did she um, notice any form of abnormality or illness? She said that the babies were very sound that night. That they were already sleeping before she slept. In fact, she was so shocked that she insisted that the dead baby wasn't mine. And Mama, you're certain the doors were locked that night? Very certain. It was locked. I was the one that unlocked the door in the morning. So, it wouldn't have been possible for anybody to come in in the night while we were asleep. So what about your husband? What was his um, reaction when he was told the news? My husband. <laughs> he is the most humble man I've ever met in my entire life. He was greeted with the news that morning. He didn't say a word. He just walked up to me that morning and packed me in the back. He said, it wouldn't have been possible if it is not the will of God. That was all. So he went away with the dead body for burial. And the doctor, what was his reaction when he was told? The doctor did not believe. He insisted that it was not possible for the baby to die. He said that the baby was very, very healthy. But it was too late because already my husband has taken the baby away for burial. Well, thank you very much, Mama, for all the information. But I think I would like to talk to your sister, the one that was with you in the ward that night. So please, where can I find her? I'm Oleka, my sister. She is in her husband's house. Um, I will send my daughter to go and show you where she is staying. But you have to be careful. She is hypertensive so that nothing happens when he sees Nand. Because she would think he is Uchenna because he loves Uchenna very, very much. It's all right, Mama. Mm -hmm. We'll do as you've said. Thank you very much once again. Mm -hmm.
this one you visited unannounced. <laughs> With a stranger. Hmm. It's like God has finally answered our prayers. Good afternoon, Mama. <laughs> Good afternoon. Pijama, please get a check for him. Okay, Mama. Mm -hmm. We came to see you. Mm -hmm. Now you're welcome. No. Oh, thank you very much. <clears throat> you see, Ma, in um, order not to waste the time, I'll go straight to the point. Okay. I'm here to make an inquiry of an incident that happened 35 years ago. At a ward, a hospital ward, where your sister gave birth to a set of twins. I don't understand what you just said. What is he talking about? Um, Auntie, yes, actually... Well, I meant to understand that, as at the time of the incident, you were the only one at the ward, when one was proclaimed dead. Meaning what? Please. I don't understand where all these things are coming from. Young man, who are you? Well, I'm just a friend who believes there was foul play. You see, there's a possibility the child did not die, but was taken away. Please, I don't have strength for this nonsense this afternoon. I was even jubilating, thinking you are our in-law to be. And you're here telling me something that happened 35 years ago. Auntie, please, calm down and listen to him. This is very serious. What is serious? Something that happened 35 years ago. Even Uchenna is dead. So what is the need for all these things he is talking about? Okay, fine. He said the baby did not die. But was taken away. It is not possible. Because I locked the ward that night. Before going to bed. Nobody entered. So where did the person take the baby away from? And replaced him with another baby that is dead. He or she got from thin air. Can't you see he has nothing reasonable to say? Yes. 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 What is going on here? Can someone tell me what is going on here? Amara, who is he? Well, I believe now you understand why. What I was talking about. Well, madam, I, I believe he is your sister's son, the one you all thought was dead 35 years ago. I suspect someone, someone that night, exchanging with her dead baby. No. Nobody came into that world that night. 
I locked the door myself. I am very sure. Alma, I, I need you to think. Think very well. Did you at any point leave the world at night while your sister was asleep? Maybe to, to stretch your feet, ease yourself or something? No. I didn't, I didn't leave the world while my sister was asleep. No. Okay then, can you remember any staff on duty that night? Either the doctor or a nurse, somebody. No. No, my son. I can't. I can't remember anything. How do you expect me to remember? Everything that happened that very night. I can remember. But one thing I'm sure. I didn't leave the world when my sister was asleep that night. And nobody entered. It's all right, madam. Um, I'm really sorry for the inconveniences. But um, if you don't mind, I would like to give you my number. Just in case you remember anything. Hi. Hey. Ijeonwa. Hey, Ijeonwa, hey, please come.
Yes, hello. I just remembered something. Okay, okay. What is it? I actually left the room while my sister was asleep. <laughs> yes. Nurse Agnes took me away for close to 30 minutes. Yes. Number 34. Please hold on, let me write it down. Okay, go ahead. Number 34, Elekere Street. Number 34, Elekere Street. Of Zix Avenue. Of Zix Avenue. Fege. Fege. Anisha. Anisha. Good. <coughs> I have it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, my dear. But the challenge is that, you know, this record was compiled since 1992. Then my late father was the chief medical director of this hospital. Mm. I doubt if she'll still be living there. No, no, come on. There's no need to doubt. Let's give it a try. Hmm? Let's try. Thank you very much. Yes, the address. 34 Lakeri Street. Yeah. It can't be here. And this can't be the house that nurse has been living in since night two. This is a new house. Um, let's find out. Yes, please, we're looking for Madam Agnes. Okunibe. Okunibe. Agnes Okunibe. There is nobody like Madam Agnes Okunibe here. Okay, then. Um, can we see the owner of the house? It's, it's very important. Okay. You know, Darren, uh, driver side of the country since last month. Okay, what's the name of the owner of the house? Mr. John Ifechu. John Ifechu. Okay, then. Can we see... Members of the family, anyone that stays here. Remember the day all of them did before Canada. Now they need to stay for this house for now. Okay then, thank you very much. Have a good day.
my brother. Amarachi, I have the same feeling too, but I have my doubts. The hospital ward was locked that night. Very locked. He is my brother. It's Amarachi, it is okay. Drop it. Keep it. We will not cry forever. Let us go inside. Let us go. Thank you so much for your efforts. It's obvious this is just how far we can go. I mean, where else are we going to find this nurse Agnes? And how, where? Nobody even knows if she's still alive. I think the best thing for me right now is to start treating that woman and her daughter like my family. I believe soon they'll get used to me and... That woman is your mother. There is no proof, Obiora. I'll prove it. I will find us Agnes Kumi. And I will not rest until I find her. Founder. 
Well, she runs an NGO in Putakas. I have a new address. Are you right here? Can you hear me? This thing is driving me crazy. What am I gonna do now? What is this I hear about you not eating your food? Do you want to starve yourself to death? Daddy, I'm not hungry. How do you mean you're not hungry? Adaku told me you've not tested anything in two days. And you lie down here and tell me that you're not hungry. Daddy, I didn't say I am not going to eat. I only said I am not hungry yet. I will eat when I'm hungry. I know this has to do with that son of a nobody. Get your mind off that unscrupulous idiot. That liar doesn't deserve you. He doesn't deserve you, my daughter. Get up and eat something. You can't keep doing this to yourself. No, you're not fine. So, you switched the babies? On that fateful day, I walked into the ward to attend to Mrs. Ude and her sick baby. She gave birth two hours before Mrs. Uzochuku gave birth to her twins. But her son was not healthy. While I was attending to the baby, he died in my hands. Mrs. Sude wept inconsolably. It was her first issue after 13 years in marriage. I was moved by her tears. I wept with her. Then the devilish I just struck like a lightning in my head. Search through them carefully. Check all the papers to see if any bears your sister's name. Maybe the prescription was misplaced into the wrong file. Keep searching, okay? to Mrs. Ude world. I took the dead baby without her consent. I walked into Mrs. Uzochuku's world and exchanged the dead baby with one of her twins. That is what happened. <coughs> So how come the baby ended up at the orphanage? Orphanage? Yes. I don't know anything about that. I resigned from the hospital three months after the event. I relocated to this town. 
I lost contact with Mrs. Sude. There were no cell phones at that time. Maybe she later took the baby to the orphanage. But I doubt that she would do that. So, do you have any idea how we can find <coughs> Mrs. Sude? But her husband, Chief Nicholas Ude, was once a local government chairman in Anambra State. But he's retired now from active politics. Chief Nicholas Ude. And you still don't know where we can find him. <coughs> Wait, uh, I'm wondering if this. Chief Nicholas Ude is the same one I know. Uh, he used to be a politician. And he's retired. Kind of. Hold on, hold on. Yes. This is Chief Nicholas Ude, the man we have been talking about. What? Do you know him? Are you doing in my compound? I thought I'd warn you never to step your feet into this compound ever again. Good day, Chief. Keep your greatest to yourself. Now leave my house this minute. Calm down, Chief. We're here to discuss something very important with you. Are you deaf? I said leave my house this minute. I can never condescend so low to discuss with this son of a nobody. I'm not a son of a nobody, Chief. I have a family, which your wife deprived me of their love. I'm not here to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage anymore. I'm here to find out why you dumped me at the motherless baby's home after stealing me from my family, my true family, years ago. I was not part of that conspiracy. I never knew the child my wife brought back from the hospital was not mine. Six months after that child was brought into my house, my business started nose diving. Nothing was working anymore. Everything I invested my money into failed. So I decided to seek for spiritual help. <sighs> Okay. There is a strange child in your house. He sold yens for his twin brother. Take him back to his family for your prosperity to be restored. Wise one, there is no such child in my house. The only child in my house is my son. My wife gave birth to him six months ago.
That child in your house is not from your loins. He is not your biological child. You must take him back to his biological parents for things to start moving well for you again. Honestly, I'm confused. I'm very, very confused. Then ask your wife questions. So, I returned to the house to ask my wife about the boy. Initially, she tried denying it. But after I pressed harder, she opened up and told me the truth about the boy. Immediately, I instructed her to return that child to the real parents. But unfortunately, she didn't know who the parents are. Even the nurse that helped her to exchange the child had relocated to Portacot. No one knows her new address or how to locate her. We had no option than to take the boy to the orphanage. I'm sorry. Please forgive my late wife. She says she was deceived into it. I'm sorry. Please forgive my family. Daddy. Daddy, what is going on? What, what child are you talking about?
don't try me. You're welcome. I knew it. The first time I set my eyes on you, I knew you are my son. Hey! Obutobongwa. <laughs> Mama, we need to take you to a very good hospital in the city for proper treatment. Hey, <laughs> Mama, your days of suffering are over. Your son is back. <laughs>